Welcome to another virtual art lesson by the Round Hill Art Center. I'm Eric Scott and today we are going to focus on collage. Collage is just simply cutting and gluing paper together to create some kind of image or some kind of picture. Um, you can make anything that you want. Uh, just think about the the shapes that you're going to need to cut out from the paper in order to make whatever it is that you want to make. I'm going to make a monster. That might not be a big shock if you know me. Um, I love to do monsters, so I'm going to create a monster face and uh, use lots of circles, but also some triangles and some other shapes to create my monster. Um, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and let's talk about what you're going to need in order to do your collage. I'm ready to go ahead and start my collage. So let's talk about what materials that I have and what you might want to have to, to create your collage. So I need some paper. So I've got a piece of construction paper here that I will be working on. I also have a, a big stack of different colors over here, including some smaller pieces that I will use, uh, some smaller scraps that I'll use for some of the smaller details. Um, so I've got that, I've got my paper, I've got my glue stick, uh, if you don't have glue stick, if you just have the liquid Elmer's glue, that's that's fine too. I've got a pair of scissors. I might want to draw something, so I have my pencil. And then over, over here, this is just sort of a stack of um, scrap paper. So you could use an old magazine, you could use an old catalog if, if you have phone books around. Um, just anything that you can work on top of to keep the glue. I'm going to use this as a glue surface so that way I don't get glue all over my my paper. A couple other things that you might want to have uh, if you want to draw straight lines or create straight lines you might want to have a ruler and then if you want to make perfect circles or other types of shapes I find that sometimes it's nice to have a variety of of things that I can trace so these are kind of lids or caps or little cups um, I probably I'm probably not going to use these but just in case you wanted to and then the other thing that you might want to have let me reach up here is just some colored pencils so I've got a whole tray full but you know different colors of colored pencils that might be something to add some details at the very end you don't need the the colored pencils but sometimes they're a good addition to your work so <clears throat> I'm going to do a face and of course I like monsters so I'm going to do a monster face but feel free to do any kind of face or creation that you want. The, the, the steps are kind of the same. I mean I'm just really focusing on cutting and gluing so I want to talk about that. So this is going to be the face of my monster. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay and I might decide later that I want to cut around the edge. I don't need to do that right now but this whole thing is going to be a face maybe he's going to have two or three eyes I you know monster it's a monster maybe I'll give him three eyes maybe a a big mouth if I want to I can give him horns all kind of things that I can do to my monster so I want to start off with the eyes now you could do any kind of face you want or uh, you could like I said you could do anything that you wanted to you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing um, and so you might start off something different but the, the cutting and gluing are, are going to be kind of similar. So um, let me go, I, I, like I said, I want to start off with the eyes and I want to have two big circles, but I'm not just going to use one color. I mean, I have my white here and a lot of times we think about, you know, uh, the whites of eyes. So I am going to use this in a little bit, but I'm not going to use it quite yet because I want to use other colors. I want to kind of build up layers of, of color. So I'm going to start off with this uh, purple let me pull it over so I've got this purple I like it it's a nice contrast to the the light blue the turquoise paper that I have now to make this easier I don't I don't need this whole piece of paper it's really hard sometimes to to work with a big piece of paper and then it can be really wasteful so I'm gonna cut off a piece so you could do this if you have multiple pieces you know you you can cut off a piece to use and save the rest and so this big piece here, I'm going to save it, put it back over in my pile, and I can use it later. And if I need more, I can always take more. So I'm going to make my eyes out of here. So I'm going to do maybe three circles. Maybe they're going to be different sizes. And even that, I'm going to go ahead and cut it smaller. Now, a, you know, if I think about a circle, I, I can cut it out of a square shape. 
Okay, so by cutting it smaller makes it easier to use. So I could take my pencil and I could draw a nice big circle and I encourage you to do that if you need to. But what I like to do is I like to use just my scissors. And I think of this like drawing with scissors, but it takes some practice. And if you're not very comfortable with it, I would definitely draw it. And so I'm gonna start cutting this big circle and notice that I start and I turn the paper. I'm, I'm not really turning the scissors. I'm turning the paper and I'm not chopping the whole scissors. I'm not going chop, chop, chop. So the tips of my scissors never completely close. So I cut a little bit as I'm turning, open up my scissors, and then that way I can get a smoother line, a smoother edge. Okay, so I've cut out my, now it's not really a circle, it's kind of an egg shape, so I'm gonna trim off this part. And th again, I, I like monsters because I make them up, you know, so there's no right way or wrong way for it to look. Okay, so that's gonna be one eye. Maybe that's gonna be the bigger eye. Maybe I wanna have, since I think I am gonna make him have three eyes. He's a three-eyed monster. Um, so I want a bigger eye in the middle, maybe two smaller eyes, one on each side. So I'll go ahead and do that. And you know, maybe, again, it's gonna be a little bit smaller, so this time I'm gonna cut up more of a rectangle. And then again, just cut it the same way. Just a nice big circle. And if it didn't come out perfect, that's okay. But by turning the paper, I get a smoother circle. So there's, you know, there's the other eye. Now maybe this piece I wanna save for later, so I'll put it up here out of the way. And then one more eye. Okay, and then again, I can cut my circle out of it. And like I said, I could draw it and I could use some of those uh, circle things that I have to, to, um, to uh, draw it and to trace and get perfect circles, but you know, it's a monster, it doesn't need to be perfect. So three eyes, he's gonna have a big mouth down here, I'll leave some room. Um, so I'm gonna do something, I, a lot of times I don't do this right away, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down just so that they don't move around a lot. So that allows me to talk about gluing. So I've got this paper, it's just a pad of paper that I've had for a long time. Um, and it's just something that, it's real thin, flimsy paper, and I use it as a glue paper. So you might even be able to see a lot of like the shiny glue and stuff that's on this paper. It's nice and dry so I can reuse it. And all I'm gonna do is to take my circle and flip it over. Because sometimes the paper is a slightly different color on the, the front than it is on the back. And then I'm gonna um, unscrew my cap. And then what I like to do is when I store it, I always screw the or twist the glue back down inside so if I twist this out just a little bit of glue coming out and then I'm on top of this pad of paper and I'm going to hold my my piece of paper with one hand like maybe just a finger or two and then I'm going to go away from my finger and I want to cover the entire back and you might even be able to see how it's getting shiny with the glue and then when, I, when I'm ready, I can kind of move down and I'm barely, barely holding on with one finger. And then I just wanna make sure I get that part where I was holding and make sure the whole thing is covered with glue. And check that out. Because it's kind of small, I can pick it up with my glue stick and that, that's gonna help me out. And then I can position it, let me get that out of the way, just make sure that I'm getting it where I want it to be, sort of near the middle and then just take my fingers and rub it down for a few seconds. The nice thing with this glue stick, it's not super wet. So it just takes a few seconds for me to rub it down for it to stick. And then I can do the same thing with this one. I just do the same thing. So again, I'm, I'm doing it over here on this pad of paper, 
so that I don't get glue all over my paper or all over the table. Um, and so having that pad of paper lets the glue get on the paper and it keeps everything else neat and clean. And, that, and I really want to make sure that I'm covering the entire back. So again, I'm holding it and I'm covering the entire back of that little circle with glue and really going over it and making sure that I got it all over. And my glue stick is like halfway off of the paper. And then, you know, that's why the scrap paper is here. So the extra glue is getting on that scrap paper. And then there's his third eye. Okay. So that's kind of going to be like a, a ring, a, a, a shape around my guy's eye. And then maybe I want to do a smaller ring inside. And I think this time I'm going to use a pink. I've got a real light pink that I think I want to use. And I'm going to do the same thing where I cut off a part of it. And that just makes it easier to use. Okay, so it's not going to be as big as the this circle. So, um, you know, I still want to cut it. There's my square. So by making it into more of a square or a rectangle, it's easier to cut my circle. So this is going to be like a smaller ring inside. So what's happening is I'm just going to keep cutting smaller and smaller circles for the eye. And I'm going to do this. So this is going to be pink. I'm going to do it with the white next. Okay. So before I glue this down, I want to make sure that it fits. So you see, I mean, that pink almost looks white. I think it's just, I have bright lights shining on. Um, but it, it's a slightly pink color. And so I can put that down. Maybe I want to have just a little bit more of the purple showing. So I'll pick that up and I'm just going to trim a little bit off, not a whole lot, just a real thin line all the way around. Okay, so you could see how I just have this real thin piece that I cut off. And so that way that pink is a little bit smaller. Yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other two. Now I just need to glue them down. So I'll just do like I've done before. Now I do have to be careful because I was gluing over here and the glue still might be sticky. So I'm going to move this over so that I'm not getting glue, the wet glue, because the, the glue from when I did the purple is still on here and it can still be sticky. It can take the glue quite a while to dry completely. Stick that down in and rub it down. And so I'm just building up layers on the eyes. And that's going to give me lots of really cool details for the eyes. So it's a lot of work. But it's going to be really interesting whenever I'm done. So like, like I was saying, if you're like, oh, I don't want to do a monster. I want to do a cat or a dog or a person. You could do the same thing. Nothing, nothing says you have to do a monster. All right, so I've got the pink done. I already have the white. I already have a piece of the white cut. But again, it's, it's really kind of big. So again, if I hold this up, and I can kind of see like, oh, if I cut it skinnier than the pink, so that the white part, you can see now how, yeah, that is pink and that's white. So the white's skinnier than the pink. So I know it's going to be smaller. 
Alright, it's going to be smaller than the pink circle. Okay, so now he's got the whites of his eyes. Now he needs the rest, the, what's called the iris and the pupil. So the iris, I think I'm going to do green. So I don't, I don't need as much this time. So let me cut that off. Let's see how big. That might be pretty good for that. If it's too small, I can always use it for one of the other eyes. Okay, so now his eyes are, or his green eyes are done, but I want to do black, black for the pupils. So I'm also going to use this black for his mouth, but let me go ahead. I don't need a whole lot for the black now. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit, and I think that should be enough. Okay, so that could be... So again, my, my circles are getting smaller and smaller each time. All right, so we got a three-eyed monster. There's actually one more detail I'm going to put in the monster's eye in a little bit, but I'm going to hold off with that. Now I'm going to do the mouth. So I'm going to give him a, a big, big mouth. So I'm going to cut off a part for his mouth. And I have to kind of think, like, do I want to kind of have a shape? So I could maybe make a big rectangle. I could do sort of a kind of like a... A frowny face a little bit um, so I think I don't know I, I'm kind of thinking I want to do kind of the frowny face I'm not going to use this whole thing so maybe I'll just trim it down first and then I can use the rest of that so I'm not really sure um, yeah so I think yeah I think a frowny face I like my monsters to be kind of grumpy, not super scary, maybe kind of grumpy or seemingly a little confused. Um, but you know, I do like to give them some sharp teeth and such. So that's that's kind of a cool. I kind of like that. Um, I could cut that kind of more uh, uh, sort of a frowny, but I kind of like that. So there's his mouth. Now I'm going to need some teeth, so I'm going to go back. I have this little piece right here. This is going to be perfect. Now here's the thing. I'm not going to glue this one down yet. Okay, I know I did that with the eyes, but there's a reason I'm not going to glue it down. I want to get the teeth on first, and that's going to be kind of hard because I want them to, to kind of point down, and then I want to cut them, trim them to the edge. Okay, so i got to think about, like, oh, maybe if I turn it this way, and the nice thing is, if I turn it this way, I can get multiple teeth. So there's one. There's two. And there's three. So 
So I've gotten four teeth out of that little piece of paper, just kind of cutting some triangles. So I could kind of turn them in this way. That's kind of cool, but I don't know. So that's what I like about with the collage is that you can kind of, I kind of like that. But if I glue it down, it's going to stick off the edge. So that's why I didn't glue the black part down yet. So I do like, let's move, this tooth is a little bit bigger. That one's a little bit bigger. Okay. So I'm going to start with the middle tooth. Just like before, spread my glue. And I want to glue it, and I want to make sure that the tooth sticks over the edge just a little bit. Because I'm going to trim it so that it fits really well. So again, just making sure that, it, that I don't press it down onto the blue paper. All right, so this one's really going to stick out. So if I need to, I can really I can pick it up because that little part there has glue on it, and I don't want it to get stuck to the blue paper. But there's a reason that I'm doing it this way, and I'll show you that in a second. And as soon as I get this tooth glued down. So again, I can pick it up, squeeze it down. Okay, so the reason that I had it stick out was now I can take my scissors. So you can see, I see a little bit of each tooth. So if I flip it over, I can cut. Now the only problem is if that glue's not totally dry, I might get a little bit of glue stick, a little bit of glue on my scissors. But the nice thing is that the glue stick is washable. So I can always, if I get too much, I can always wash it off. All right, and I can take all these little scraps and they go in the trash. And so there, there is his, uh, his teeth. However, one more thing I think I want to add before I glue it down. I think he needs a tongue. And I think I only need a little piece of this red. The nice thing is that the bottom of this is flat, so I can glue the tongue down. I can cut out a tongue shape. Just so, just so it looks like he has a tongue inside of his mouth. If I wanted to, I could cut it so it's out of his mouth. So maybe he's like sticking his tongue out, but this is gonna look like it's inside of his mouth. And a little bit of glue. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is um, flip it over. Oh, I see a little bit of red. So I can go ahead and trim that off. And then I can glue, put glue on the back of this and glue it down. Now, let's twist out some more glue. And so I just really want to make sure I'm getting lots of glue on the back. That's really going to make it stick down well. And like I said, I can always pick it up. I love being able to pick that up with the glue stick. And then position it where I want it. And then rub it down. Okay, and there's there's a there's a couple more details I want to put on the monster face. Um, one of the things is I think I want to give him some spots. So I 
think I've got some. I was thinking I had some light blue in here, but I don't see any. Mm. Oh, I'll take some of this. This it, eh, not a whole lot of difference. Maybe I'll use some of that purple. Actually, I have some scraps of purple up here. There we go. Yeah, that's going to work well. It's going to help me use up these scraps. That's why I saved them. <clears throat> okay, so, you know, I can do other details. So one of them, I think I want to give them some little spots. And so I'm just going to cut, maybe this time, not so much circles, but maybe more like ovals. look like more eyes. <laughs> Maybe I'll put them down so they're kind of like on his cheek. And then I've got some other scrap here. Two more spots. Okay, get those glued down. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop, or actually no, I'm not going to stop there. There's one more detail that I wanted to show. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of this white and I'm going to do a little reflection for the eyes. Like a little, like there's a little bit of light reflecting off of the monster's eye. And this is probably the hardest part and it's definitely something that some people be like, I'm not doing that because that's just too hard. 
Okay. So this is going to be for his big eye. So you see how that creates kind of a reflection. So take my glue, put a little bit of glue on the back. Now my fingers have a lot of glue on them, so this gets a little hard. So here comes the really hard part, because now these two are smaller. So I need to cut teeny, teeny, tiny circles out, or ovals. I mean, look at that. Look how small that is. Little teeny, teeny, tiny one. And you can get a little bit of glue. And then that's going to go on this one. Now look at that, it looks like a little reflection shining on his eye. And then this last one is going to be really hard because it's going to be even smaller. Oops, see how teeny that is? And a little bit of glue. And stick it on. Come on. Okay, so I think I'm done with the collage part. And if, you know, I could just leave it like that and be totally done. Um, but maybe what I want to do is to take some colored pencil, you know, so I could take uh, kind of a darkish kind of brownish red color. Maybe I want to draw in some details, maybe little dots. And I don't know how well this is showing up on the video. Maybe I want to take uh, a, a pink, a little darker pink. Maybe I want to put little lines. So these are just little details that I can add that help create a lot of interest. If I want to make them look furry, I could take a kind of a darker blue and draw in some fur. But you know, you don't have to do this part, especially if you don't have the colored pencil. You could do it with a marker uh, you could do it with a pencil, but I, I like the colored pencil because uh, because I have different colors of it, and then it's not quite as dark as like a marker. And then maybe I'm going to take this is a dark blue. Maybe I want to do little details in the eyes. Okay, so I could do other kind of details on it too. I can give them freckles. Like I said, I might draw in some fur. Um, and then the last thing I can think about, I'm not going to do it. I think I'm going to be done with this. This is nice. It's a nice, good size. I could hang it up. But if I wanted to, I could cut out the face around it. I could give him horns. I can give him lots of other details. But I kind of like that little little guy's face. So, um, yeah, so I think that kind of wraps it up for this guy. All right, I had a lot of fun making my little guy. Um, I love monsters. And I was just really thinking about the shape. I mean, I cut out so many circles for the eyes. But you can do any thing that you want. You, it could be a face of a dog, of a cat, of an animal, a person. It doesn't even have to be a face. It could be a rocket ship or a car. No matter what you're thinking about doing, think about how you're using the shape. So what shapes do you need? If you're doing a car, what's the shape of the car? What shape do you need for the windows? What shape for the tires? 
So that's what I was thinking about with my monster. Was like, what was the shape of a mouth? What was the shape of the teeth? The shape of the eyes? And then I cut those out. So um, yeah, I, I love making monsters. I love doing collage and my handy dandy glue stick works really great for gluing things down. So um, I hope you had fun watching this video. And if you make your own, make sure you share it with us. Pop it into the comments um, or, or post it, have your parents post it on uh, social media and tag us in it so that we can see it. We would love to see what you are making. So um, thank you so much for tuning in once again. I hope you had some fun and as always, happy creating.